Enjoy a taste of Honduras at Mami Machita's, Frankfurt's very own Honduran restaurant serving authentic Central American cuisine. Eat, share, and love. That's our motto. With family recipes spanning generations, you'll be sure to enjoy a delicious mix of flavors featuring specialty dishes along with seafood, steak, chicken, soups, and salads. Relax on our patio with a drink during happy hour and enjoy live entertainment on the weekends. Come on down to Mommy Manchitas for a taste of Honduras in Frankfurt, located at 610 Ridgeview Drive. Smart lights, smart thermostats, smart entertainment, smart everything. When you are Central Kentucky's leading technology integrator, you get just that, a smart home. Bluegrass Home Entertainment, your local technology and integration experts. Young Sheldon, tonight at 7. Up on Fox 56 News at 7 o'clock. The snow is still flying here in Lexington. Will it add to the totals? I'll tell you. And we are going to be out in the elements checking road conditions around town to see how the city is handling it. In fact, I think this is a live look in Lexington where the snow is really coming down now. Woo! Great visuals there. All right, plus, we're not the only ones dealing with snow. How hard the southeast was hit? And it's Martin Luther King Jr. Day. A look at the life and legacy of this civil rights icon. Live from Lexington, our home, your news. This is Fox 56 News at 7. Good morning, everybody. I'm Paul Jones. I'm Mandy Noel. Thanks for tuning in to Fox 56 this morning, the only station in Lexington local from 5 to 9. I think it's time to get our web producer, Braxton, uh, out there to make more snowmen. The snow is coming down, as we showed you there yep. in that pre-show. You're going to have to pose the question, do you want to build a snowman? I love the one that he made last time. Um, but, yeah, so we, and I can see it over there, Justin, in the Weather Center. Mm -hmm. It's coming down behind you. Yeah, really hard uh, here at, just outside of our station, at least moderate to heavy snow. You can look at it uh, a little closely in some of the street lights to see it. And also right in front of the building here on High Street, we're beginning to see the tracks form again because the snow has put down mine accumulation. I talked about that all morning since we started. This next batch of snow could put down some minor accumulations just enough to kind of recover some of the roads that had been cleared up by, yes, the road crews overnight. Let me show you the radar. You see the deeper blues in there? It's coming across Fayette County. It's also coming across parts of Clark County. Even into southern Bourbon, we're seeing some of the moderate snow coming back into play. You go back to the west, more of the same in Franklin County, Anderson, Mercer uh, over into Jesmond and Madison down into Lincoln and working your way into Rock Castle and Jackson. This is going to put down in some cases a uh, half inch, maybe up to another inch of snow. So if you have to be out, be aware of that. It will reduce your visibility. Roads are going to be slick, especially the secondary roadways. But the snow tapers off by late morning into the afternoon. Uh, at least the snow starts shutting off, but it stays cold and the clouds hold tough. We'll let you know when we go above freezing. Coming up. Let's talk about road conditions again. Crews manning salt trucks and snow plows out in full force ahead of the winter storm. Overnight, ice turning to snow across the state. Many of you are waking up to what's a pretty view, but not always a pretty fun drive. Let's head straight out to I-75, Laurel County in London. Josh Short has been monitoring the traffic scene there all morning. Good morning, Josh. Yeah. Yeah, good morning, guys. Well, right here outside of Kentucky State Police Post 11, it does kind of look like a winter wonderland, though, Paul, as you mentioned, pretty to look at, not so fun to drive in. I'm going to step off camera just for a bit to kind of show you guys what we're seeing here. So as you can see, it's pretty piled on here in the parking lot. Now, we should mention that roadways on the way to London do look fairly good, a testament to the roadway crews hard at work. But do keep in mind, if you are traveling in parking lots, that there may be some problems coming in and out with the heavier snow in those areas that the traffic crews haven't had a chance to get to. Now, let's talk about another big problem because of the weather. Power outages. Now we pulled out this information here. According to PowerOutage.us, around 8.83% of citizens in Laurel County are without power. That's around 2,844 customers without power in this county. Now it's not all bad news because as the morning goes on, we are tracking fewer power outages and that number is going down. So it's a testament to crews working hard on that as well. Now of course stick with us here on Fox 56 for the latest updates when it comes to traffic, snow, and of course these power outages. Live in London, Josh Short, Fox 56 News. In Lexington, salt trucks started working early yesterday morning to stop a layer of ice from forming on the roads. As our meteorologist predicted, that falling ice turned to snow in the city around 3 o'clock. Yeah, we've been going around and just 
crease out and all the sidewalks and a little bit of the parking lot because we know there's a lot of ice and snow getting ready to come. We like to make sure our crease warning signs are out, make sure that the rest of the snow leave the tubs, same process stripping. There's a lot of slick spots through the property, cars getting stuck, people slipping and falling, stuff like that. So we try to make sure that we keep everything Solid, ready, so nobody has any issues and we don't have nobody fall, get hurt. As of now, no major accidents to report on the roads. We'll have a live report from downtown Lexington in our next half hour. This winter storm isn't just hitting Kentucky. Parts of the southeast have also been hit hard. Tens of thousands of customers losing power across Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina, even Florida, where a tornado was reported. <clears throat> Thousands of canceled flights and North Carolina state troopers reporting more than 300 car crashes and nearly 800 calls for help. More than 260,000 people in that region lost power. Today is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Right now we take a look back at the civil rights icon. His legacy, his accomplishments. Kaylee Olivas has the story. Traveling back to 1955, the NAACP chose King to lead the Montgomery bus boycotts. That 13-month-long protest led to a Supreme Court decision outlawing segregation on public buses in Alabama. King was now seen as the face for the civil rights movement. While fighting for equal rights, he was tossed in jail over 20 times, his house was firebombed, and he and his family suffered relentless personal attacks. Despite the adversity, Dr. King traveled over 6 million miles to deliver 2,500 speeches. One of those being his famous I Have a Dream speech at the foot of the Lincoln Memorial in 1963. I have a dream. Gaining the attention of millions, Dr. King became the youngest man ever to receive the Nobel Peace Prize in 1964. He was also an advocate for voting rights. Dr. King ultimately compelled President Lyndon B. Johnson to sign the Civil Rights Act of 1964 as well as the Voting Rights Act of 1965. Sadly, three years later, Dr. King was assassinated in Memphis, Tennessee by James Earl Ray. King's assassination did not erase his legacy, though. That was Kaylee Olivas reporting. Ordinarily, we celebrate King's legacy with marches and events, but the winter storm is affecting those here in Lexington. The MLK Freedom March is canceled. The decision made because of slick roads and the walking route, as well as driving to the march location. The virtual program, though, is still happening on YouTube at noon. All right, coming up, we'll be covering the news throughout Kentucky. Why a woman was arrested and put behind bars in Lincoln County. And two Kentucky men who participated in the January 6th riots have been sentenced. What the future looks like for them. Plus, we'll have a look at the snow in Richmond. Stay with us. Fox 56 News Nonstop is sponsored by Arby's. Come in for a classic French dip sandwich today. Tender roast beef served with au jus for dipping. Available for a limited time. Family Wealth Group. Retirement begins here. Contact us at thefamilywealthgroup.com. P-Rats. Nobody beats P-Rats. Get more without paying more. The right brands. The right price. Rated number one for service. Lexington has a local weather authority with state-of-the-art storm tracking technology. Heavy snowfall. A local weather team with local weather knowledge and a commitment to keep you safe. With it. This is something we're going to keep a close eye on. Fox 56, the weather authority. Happy Baby here at Surplus Sales. We have flooring that's 100% waterproof. That's right, waterproof. In stock and ready to take home today. Now that will make you happy, like me. Surplus Sales in Corbin, Kentucky. Some clients say they're not the type of person who sues. But many of our cases are settled without having to sue anyone. In almost all of our car crash cases, insurance companies are responsible for paying the claim, not the person who hit you. There's only one Morgan & Morgan. 
Hi, I'm Tim Sparks, founder of Sparks Financial Group. Did you know that one simple mistake can derail your retirement plan? If you don't make that shift from growth-based to income-based investment, you could be setting yourself up for failure. Make the switch today so you can help preserve your assets and generate reliable income streams you can count on. Visit GetIncomeForRetirement.com to download your free financial report and learn about the potential risk to your retirement plan. Why do more people trust Baptist Health with their hearts? It's because we put you at the center of everything we do. From our treatment innovations and skilled teams who deliver care that revolves around your unique needs to our full circle approach that keeps us by your side at every step. This is heart care that helps you return to the things your life revolves around because this is heart care centered on you. I was an addict. But it does not define me. Or who we are. I chose to get help. And to live a better life. Addiction does not define you. With Landmark Recovery, you can live a better life. Happy Baby here at Surplus Sales. We have kitchen and bath cabinets in stock and ready to take home today. And they're all wood. Now that would make anybody happy, like me. Surplus Sales Flooring in Corbin, Kentucky. The Big Bang Theory presents Flash of the Bright One. It did not kill me when you went to space. Monkeys went to space. Weeknights at 7.30. This is Fox 56 News with Paul Jones, Mandy Noel, and Weather with Justin Logan. Just curious, um, are you done frolicking in the snow? I don't know. I haven't decided. It I might fun. actually go outside and do it later. You did it without a jacket. Was it cold over there? <laughs> it was cold over there. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Justin, you need to keep the flurries going because Mandy's having a great time with it, and that's all that matters. She, yeah. it, it, it is all that matters out there. Uh, you know, this morning, the snow still continues, and for that, there is a winter weather advisory that's in place through the morning for just about all of us as this little batch of snow continues to swing through. It's snowing in Lexington. Really, it's snowing in a large part of the area, and we'll have another check at radar coming up in just a minute, but I wanted to show you the alerts and plus I wanted to get to the forecast through the rest of the afternoon. Here's a road condition first. Winchester Road at Sir Barton Way. Yeah, you can see roads definitely still slick and hazardous in spots here in central Kentucky. 8 o'clock this morning, likely still going to have some scattered snow showers. But as we go through time, watch what happens. By the time we get to lunch, snow showers are tapering off, a few flurries possible, but the, the temp just doesn't move much. Late afternoon is when we'll likely get to our highs, potentially into the upper 20s to near 30. That's going to bank on maybe some late day peaks of sun kind of west of Lexington. Lawrenceburg, Harrodsburg, Frankfurt has the best chance to see some of that. Bottom line though this morning, take it slow out there. It may look like that the roads are clear in spots, but there's probably still some black ice or some slush out there this morning. Paul and Mandy. Justin, thank you. We continue covering the snowfall in Kentucky. Fox 56 reporter Georgia MacArthur heads to Richmond to see how neighbors are handling conditions there. Four-wheel drive makes it a lot easier. After a record snowfall on January 6th, drivers in Richmond became well prepared for today's snowstorm. Richmond is now seeing about two to five inches of snow, and drivers say this commute is easier. I don't think they got the plow trucks out as fast as they should have last time, but they was on top of it this time, so it isn't too awful bad. See a lot of people driving around, spinning out. Reuben Clark, who is from Michigan, says he is used to the snow, but tries to avoid going out in the cold. With the freezing temperatures, he says he had no choice but to get back on the road. I'm just coming in here for some water since everything's kind of freezing up in my house. Michael Van Winkle says he spends most of the day taking trips, walking from place to place. Uh, I walk everywhere, so that's that's the struggle with that. You know, it puts a little damper on point A to point B, but, you know, it's okay. I manage. Thankfully, this snowfall is less than the last time he had to be out in the snow. That was a little bit treacherous, you know, walking then, you know, as I had to put on my snow boots. I'm still in my tennis shoes today, so, you know, it's not as bad. Several drivers in Richmond were stranded in the low-inch snowfall, and Robbie Teague says in weather like this, you need to brace yourself. No, no now coming from work, I yeah, saw a few uh, vehicles right there on the side of the road. Take your time and all that. Get there safe. Georgia MacArthur, Fox 56 News. 
Since it's Martin Luther King Jr. Day, a lot of businesses are already closed, but there are still some services open today. Just call ahead to make sure wherever you're trying to go is up and running this morning. We know several St. Joseph Hospital services will open on a two-hour delay. Covering Kentucky continues. In Lincoln County, a woman is behind bars after police spotted her speeding while driving down Highway 150 East. When deputies stopped the car, they discovered an active warrant for the woman. Deputies say they also found hypodermic needles and drug paraphernalia in her car. A Western Kentucky woman has been indicted for the death of her infant son. According to police, a grand jury handed down the indictment for 28-year-old Shaylin Curtis. Police say the charge comes after detectives presented a medical examiner's report to the panel showing the five-month-old died from drugs. In his system, uh, officials are unsure how the baby ingested those drugs. Curtis was booked into the Christian County Jail. Two Kentucky men who pleaded guilty to a misdemeanor for their roles in the January 6th Capitol riot in D.C. are sentenced. Dalton Crace and Troy Williams are sentenced to three years probation and 15 days in jail. The judge also assigned them 60 hours of community service and fined them $500 to help pay for damages to the Capitol. Both men were living in Lexington at the time of their arrests. They told the judge they regret what happened that day. And history is being made aboard the USS Constitution this week, and she has roots in Kentucky. Commander Billy J. Farrell is scheduled to become the first woman to lead the crew of the 224-year-old warship known as Old Ironsides. Farrell is a native of Paducah and graduated from the U.S. Naval Academy in 2004. All right, tax filing season starts next week. What the IRS wants you to know. And Fox 56 Master Chef Bridget Prather is in the kitchen this morning for another awesome mealtime Monday segment. Stick around to see what she has cooking. Plus, gas prices are expected to spike when we can expect an increase in prices. Kroger delivery is always fresh because we check our produce at every stop on its journey to you. We're fresh every day, so shop any way. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Do you have a disability claim that keeping you from working? Hi, I'm Henry White with Stromat & Associates. It's important that you give us a call today before you file your claim for disability. Call Stromat & Associates. We don't get paid unless you get paid. For your next clogged drain, don't call a general plumber. Call a specialist. The experts at Lex Reuter specialize in clogged drains and pipes. We offer preventative maintenance and 24-hour emergency service for your peace of mind. Lex Reuter, we keep you flowing. Hey there, I'm RV, here to tell you all about Wildcat RV and Marine, Southeast Kentucky's headquarters for all things RV and Marine. We carry a great selection of new and pre-owned RVs and boats in stock. For RV and boat parts and accessories, Wildcat has you covered. Plus, we have the best service center in the area for all your maintenance and repairs. Wildcat RV and Marine, your recreation destination. Conveniently located just off I-75 at exit 29 in Corbin. My daughter has type 2 diabetes, and lately, I've seen this change in her. Once weekly, Trulicity is proven to help lower A1C. It lowers blood sugar from the first dose, and you could lose up to 10 pounds. Trulicity is for type 2 diabetes. It isn't for people with type 1 diabetes. It's not approved for use in children. Don't take Trulicity if you're allergic to it. You or your family have medullary thyroid cancer or have multiple endocrine neoplasia syndrome type 2. Stop Trulicity and call your doctor right away if you have an allergic reaction, a lump or swelling in your neck, severe stomach pain, changes in vision, or diabetic retinopathy. Serious side effects may include pancreatitis. Taking Trulicity with sulfonylurea or insulin raises low blood sugar risk. Side effects include nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, which can lead to dehydration and may worsen kidney problems. Ask your doctor about once-weekly Trulicity. Never lie to a judge when you're in court. It's a no-no. There's only one Judge Judy. Weekdays at 5 on Fox 56. Big Bang. Tonight at 7.30. At Kroger, you can get personalized coupons on top of weekly sales for prices that are lower than low on food that's fresher than fresh. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Now, your forecast from Fox 56 News, the weather authority. Justin Logan, he's a smiling guy over there on the green screen. Why do you think he's so happy right now? Because he's hanging out with us, doing what he loves. He's a weather nerd. He's getting to nerd out with all the snow. And I think he gets to predict all these things right. spot on. Yes. So he's We're smiling just saying. today. 
You know, well done. It, Thank you. I appreciate that. We, it was a lot of hard work. I'll tell you that. Listen, it was a team effort. We went, uh, came together last week and we're looking at the numbers and said, well, let, how much does it look like we're going to get? And we had a swath right through the bluegrass, about two to five inches. All right. Some spots just west uh, of Lexington and parts of Nicholasville area between about an inch to an inch and a half. So it dropped off quickly west of 75. Remember I said that on Thursday and Friday, there would be a sharp cutoff to who gets very little and who gets a lot. South and east of Lexington was still where uh, most of it fell and right in our three to seven inch zone. Look here this morning, additional snowfall still flying. Talked about that little clipper going back to Friday too. Uh, and this morning that it would round the bend. We'll get to radar in a second, but you can see the tracks in the snow. This was almost entirely clear about 30 to 40 minutes ago. So this is new snow that's come down at the intersection of Euclid High and then Fontaine there straight ahead. So that's something that we're not only just seeing in Lexington, additional snowfall is moving through places like Nicholasville down into Somerset, London, and also Richmond. Let's give you the wide perspective of radar and you'll see that what I'm talking about a lot of blue on the map right some of this is light some of it is moderate to heavy where we see the deeper blues let's give you a little closer inspection all right a little lighter blues showing up from Paris to Carlisle so some mainly lighter maybe a moderate clip of snow there snow coming down at a good clip here our friends Sadieville Back to Stamping Ground, Frankfurt, Versailles, Midway, here in Lexington as well, especially southern side of Fayette County. You get your way over toward the mall. You get your way down over toward the Athens area. You get down into uh, Richmond, the northern part of, again, Clay's Ferry Bridge, that region. You're going to start seeing the snow come down at a pretty good clip and some pretty decent sized flakes. Nicholasville and Harrodsburg and Danville over to Springfield. Same story. Some really deep blues in northern Casey County. That's north of Liberty, though. So you'll likely run into that. This is going to create some additional slick travel. If the roads have been cleared or at least partially cleared, this is is going to coat the roads again, we may in some spots get up to an inch of snow out of this. Maybe locally more in some spots where it comes down at a good clip. Uh, Harlan, Whitesburg, Manchester, over to the southern part of Perry County, more of the same. Uh, Somerset and London, Williamsburg and Whitley City. There's a little donut hole for now over here in the parts of eastern Kentucky, McGoffin County. You get your way into parts of Johnson County, over into Morgan County, over into Owsley and uh, down into parts of Wolf County. But not going to last long because that batch of snow to your west is rolling back in. Speaking of Clay's Ferry, oh boy, I said that it was going to be coming down very hard there. Look at the flakes. Look, you can already start to likely to see some tracks again on Interstate 75. So while things had looked good for a while, this batch of snow is creating some additional slick travel. It only lasts through the morning. Into the afternoon, these snow showers will taper off. Could there be some flurries flying late this afternoon? That's a possibility. But the overall moderate snowfall will be ending through the morning. Tomorrow, better 40, 43 rain over to... Guess what, guys? Another snow chance by Wednesday evening. Are you tired of the snow yet? Just no. keep it coming, Justin. Just yeah, keep it coming. Fun. If it's going to be cold, I like for it to snow. We That's like you I to be feel. busy, Justin. That's what it is. <laughs> coming up, I'll be joining Bridget in the kitchen for Mealtime Monday. Buckle up for Bridget in the kitchen. She's got three recipes for us today. We can't wait. I'm ready to eat. Also, tax filing season is upon us. How the IRS wants you to be prepared for the backlog they need you to work through. Plus, new rules for planes. Why 5G internet is forcing a change to how certain planes touch down. This frontier house had a story to tell. I had to start doing some research and started trying to figure out, you know, exactly what it was that took place here. How he discovered his home's dark past and turned it into historical fiction. Marvin Bartlett, Spirit of the Bluegrass. Wednesday on Fox 56 News at 10. Don't get stuck paying more for internet that does less. Switch to Spectrum Internet and enjoy a fast, more reliable connection. Get Spectrum Internet with a free internet modem and free desktop security to keep you safe online. Include speeds of 200 megabits. Whoa, that's fast. Get Spectrum Internet for $49.99 a month. Call 833-815-4999. And don't get stuck with slow speeds from other providers. Spectrum Internet gives you enough bandwidth for all your favorite content on all your devices with no data caps. Includes parental controls to protect your family. Add advanced home Wi-Fi for even more security features. Plus, monitor who can access your network and when. Homework time. 
Spectrum Internet for $49.99 a month. Call 833-815-4999. Don't get stuck paying more in fees. Get Spectrum Internet for $49.99 a month with no contracts, no added taxes, and no hidden fees. Call 833-815-4999. Hun, don't forget to call Fayette Heating and Air today for a yearly furnace tune-up. Me? Forget. HVAC. I won't forget it, babe. Hey, the meeting? Meeting? Is that today? You forget something today? What, like calling Fayette Heating and Air? Right now, receive a system check for only $39. Call Fayette Heating and Air today. My husband was a teacher on the way to school. A utility truck skids on ice and hits him head on. We find out later that driver's boss warned him, don't drive the truck in that weather. But he did. I called 855 Wildcat for the Kentucky Courage Lawyers. When we make drunk drivers pay, texting drivers wait, and big trucks slow down, we make Kentucky safer for families. Call 855 Wildcat, Morgan Collins, Yeast and Salyer. I think it's an ulcer. Remember when you thought you had leprosy or mad cow? That was my favorite. The next Young Sheldon, tonight at 7. It's one of our favorite segments every week. Bridget Prather, our master chef. We're in the Aww. Fox 56 kitchen. It's great to see you once again. I love being here. It just is the best way to start out my week. Well, I'm so happy. We love you as well. And you're about to tell us how we can get the most out of our rotisserie chickens. Yes. Are you a rotisserie chicken lover, Paul? I have been known to enjoy those, yes. I love them. I always joked that my sister could be the poster child for rotisserie chickens, but I think I am now, too. If you guys are still working on your New Year's resolutions of eating more at home, eating well, and wanting wanting to save money, rotisserie chicken is your answer. So you can get these at your favorite like warehouse club store, your favorite grocery store. Um, but when you bring them home, don't just like tear into it and start eating. I'm gonna show you how to actually break it down. So what I do is just gently take off the thighs and the quarters and we're gonna serve this with a ginger green onion oil that is so delicious. We're gonna serve that over rice. So I'll do these for dinner the night I bring them home. Then. I pull off the wings. Do you like the wings? I'm more of a breast guy, I yep. would say. So if you don't like the wings, yeah. Paul, just throw them into your stock pot. You're just gonna keep a pot right here. And then you can go in. This chicken is from the grocery store. It's a little bit smaller than what I normally get. Mm -hmm. But you can carve one of these just like you would carve a turkey. And you're just gonna take off the breast meat. And then I'm gonna turn this into chicken salad. Wow. Do you like chicken salad? I love chicken salad, yes. You're I usually, my language. I try not to brag too much on my cooking, but I make a really good chicken salad inspired by a country club where I used to work here in town. Oh, and wow. it's going to get um, celery and dates and green onions, and it's just the perfect thing to eat for lunch throughout the week. So um, I'm going to cube up our chicken for that, and then all of the bones go back into the pot, and then I'll show you how to make a really nice, flavorful chicken broth. Okay, can't wait to see how, how it all unfolds this morning. That rotisserie chicken looks nothing like the one that I bring home from uh, Costco. <laughs> Mine's all pulled, it's not a pretty scene. But anyway, great to uh, see you. Great to have you once again in studio, or in the kitchen, I should say. And we'll have more with Bridget Prather as the morning unfolds. <laughs> but first, a live look at meteorologist Justin Logan. Look at that slow pan. Justin's working to bring you the most accurate forecast in central Kentucky. His seven day is in our next half hour. It's a touchdown, football fans. Come into Arby's now and touch this brisket, bacon, and beef dip down into a cup of au jus. Arby's, we have the meat. I'm John Morgan. If you've been injured on the job, call Pound Law from your cell phone. Morgan & Morgan, Pound Law, that's all. Most people uh, agree that they want to minimize taxes. We need to understand how the IRS looks at our money. We have four different buckets of money. And bucket one, when we make money, causes a tax. Bucket two is pre-tax. Bucket three and bucket four are both tax-free. Sit down with us for a complimentary session, and let's talk about how this could apply to you. 
Quality pre-owned vehicles are hard to come by, so make the short drive to Auto Connection in Junction City. Auto Connection is a Carfax authorized dealer now featuring a state-of-the-art service center. No one can beat our selection, pricing, or financing options. Just south of Danville, visit Auto Connection in Junction City. For 50 years, you've let Furniture World Superstore help make your house a home. Whether it's family movie night, dinner, or just a good night's sleep, we're a local, family-owned store, and we've been bringing Central Kentucky the lowest prices on beautiful, brand-name furniture for half a century and financing to make refurnishing easy and affordable. Furniture World Superstore, celebrating our 50th year in Lexington, Richmond, Georgetown, Mount Sterling, Danville, Moorhead, and Somerset. It's a touchdown, football fans. Come into Arby's now and touch this brisket, bacon, and beef dip down into a cup of au jus. Arby's, we have the meat. There's no one else. Um, I don't believe that. I don't care what you believe. Ooh. No, no. Nowhere. Stick to one woman. Ouch. No, no. There's only one Judge Judy. Never lie to a judge when you're in court. It's a no-no. Judge Judy, weekdays at 5 on Fox 56. The Big Bang Theory presents Flash of the Bright One. It did not kill me when you went to space. Monkeys went to space. Weeknights at 7.30. Judge Judy, today at 5. Seven thirty-one. your time right now on your Monday morning. Snow continues to fly. We're looking at road conditions and when the snow moves out of here coming up. We'll be taking a look at the roads in downtown Lexington and prepare you for your morning commute. Are you prepared to file your taxes next week? Why the IRS says it may take longer than normal to get your refunds this time. Plus, gas prices are set to spike again. The months to look out for for higher prices. Live from Lexington, our home, your news. This is Fox 56 News at 730. Good morning. Welcome into our fabulous studios here in Chevy Chase. I'm Paul Jones. I'm Andy Noel. Thanks for tuning in to Fox 56 News this morning. And, of course, the, the main thing we're talking about today, the weather conditions outside, lots of snow, some ice uh, that, that came first before the snow yesterday, and it's picking up again outside on the roads. Right. It took a while to get to us yesterday, Justin, but it's not wasting much time this morning. Not at all. An additional batch of some light to moderate, even in some cases, some localized heavier bouts of snow showers coming through. This is here in Chevy Chase, just outside of our studios, and the intersection will look a little better, but uh, you'll see some additional tracks, uh, again, going off from Euclid over to High Street, and that's because of the snow that is flying outside right now. Let me show you radar, and this is showing where we're seeing the additional snow. The deeper the blue, that's where the snow is coming down at a heavier clip. So we look uh, places like Paris, Cynthia is still looking at snow, but it picks up as you get from, let's say, Barrie back into Georgetown and down Mid Midway over to Versailles. You get into Lexington, at least downtown, it's a little lighter east side of town, southern side of Fayette County, Athens, Boonesboro. You get your way over to Tate's Creek. You get off to the east and you slide over toward the Hamburg area. It's coming down at a moderate clip into Nicholasville and Richmond. Harrodsburg, Danville, Stanford, Mount Vernon. McKee, London, Manchester, Barberville, a lot of areas seeing snow there. This is going to last for a few more hours. And then by lunchtime, if not a little sooner, it's going to come to an end. But it stays cold today. We're in the 20s. Be careful on the roads this morning, Mandy and Paul. As Justin mentioned, we prepared you well for this storm. Crews in Lexington were preparing too, treating the roads around 7 yesterday morning. They had a lot to worry about, busy preparing for layers of ice. And snow. Fox 56 reporter Krista Spadaccini keeping an eye on the roads in Lexington for us this morning. And once again, she joins us live. Well, Mandy and Paul, it is snowing again here in Lexington. And in the past hour, there's been definitely some more action here on the roads. There have been more cars driving and there have been more plows. In the last 15 minutes or so, I'd say there's been three or four plows that have, dro have driven by me. So let's take another closer look at these roads. The snow is coming down. The snow is sticking. Whether you're on a main road or you're on a side street, the snow is sticking. It's becoming slicker. So be careful. Drive slow. Take your time if you're out there on the road. We're going to take a leap. We're going to quickly take a look at these sidewalks I want to point out. Earlier this morning, there were a couple of folks who were shoveling the sidewalks and laying down some salt here at the 
courthouse, the Fayette District Courthouse, and I asked them, for the people at home that are clearing their dri driveways or clearing their sidewalks, what are some safety tips that they have? And this, here's what they have to say. Main thing is safety, have good uh, gear on, make sure you have ice, spy like I said again, ice spiders on your shoes so you don't slip and fall, which is a big thing people do out in snow and ice, and wear warm clothes, you can't be warm enough. Well, I'm going to be doing my part. I'll help. They were doing an amazing job earlier, but since the snow is coming down, it's sticking, sticking a little bit. I'm going to shovel here. And as he said, take it slow. You don't want to overexert yourself. If you overexert yourself, that could lead to some injuries. And also keep warm. If you start to get wet because you're sweating, that could also lead to some other injuries and some other health problems. Live in downtown Lexington, Chris Spadaccini, Fox 56 News. Krista, I'm going to uh, text you my address here shortly, and uh, if you can head on over there, that'd be terrific. All right, brace for impact. Tax filing season starts soon, and the IRS is already warning of problems ahead. Tax filing season opens January 24th, and the IRS says prepare for delays. A report to Congress says the revenue agency has 8.6 million individual and 2.8 million business returns to take care of, still to finish as of late last year because of the pandemic. Processing last year's stimulus checks also added to the difficulty Difficulties. IRS customer workforce staff is also down 20% due to pandemic health reasons. Energy experts say look for higher fuel prices across the country as warmer weather hits in the future, months ahead. Gas Buddy Petroleum Analyst Patrick DeHaan says the country is in a lull period right now, but high prices will come crashing in around March, April, and May. Oil price information service experts cite a range of reasons from the Super Bowl to Memorial Day for more gas price bite. Both say a $4 national average is possible in 2022. We do not want to hear that, but unfortunately that is the reality. Declining production and political instability in Kazakhstan and Libya are factors in higher prices. The FAA setting new landing rules for specific planes as new 5G cell service goes online near airports. Federal Aviation Administration saying Boeing 787 planes will have to adopt new procedures for landing in wet or snowy weather due to potential interference from new 5G cellular towers. The FAA says interference could delay thrust reverser deployment or braking, uh, which affect the plane's ability to stop. It's also not yet known if plane alt altimeters, which measure height above ground, are affected. 5G service begins at some major airports this Wednesday. All right, if it's Monday, it's time for our What Day Is It segment. <laughs> or Tuesday, or, or Wednesday, Wednesday, or, or Thursday. any other day Good of the point. week. <laughs> the point is, we'll have the national weeks we start observing today, and we'll hear from Rich DeMuro for, smart, or for Tech Smart. Richie, smart. Don't be surprised if your next delivery is made by a robot. A new milestone in autonomous delivery in TechSmart. And I'm tracking some additional snow showers coming through the area this morning. When does that move out and what can you expect for the rest of the week? We'll talk about it. Now, Lexington has a local weather authority with state-of-the-art storm tracking technology. Heavy snowfall across. A local weather team with local Watching weather storm, knowledge storm and a commitment to keep yeah, you safe. With it. This is something we're going to keep a close eye on. Fox 56, the weather authority. Kroger delivery is always fresh because we check our produce at every stop on its journey to you. We're fresh every day, so shop any way. Kroger, fresh for everyone. What is an overpass? Come on. Question, is that an S or a 5? I think it's a 5. I thought so. Ah, uh, frustration loading. Nobody wants more robot tests. But we could all use more ways to save. Charlotte for Rob Ott for Rob Ott. Error human. Switch to Geico for more ways to save. 
It's always devastating to lose a loved one, but it's especially hard when your loved one is taken from you intentionally or because of someone else's negligence. I'm attorney Darrell Isaacs. If your loved one was killed in a car or truck accident and another party is at fault, you could be entitled to significant money damages. There are strict time limits to file a wrongful death claim. So please call Isaacs and Isaacs today. We've recovered over a billion dollars for our clients and we're ready to get your loved one the justice they deserve. Happy Baby here at Surplus Sales. We have kitchen and bath cabinets in stock and ready to take home today. And they're all wood. Now that would make anybody happy, like me. Surplus Sales Flooring in Corbin, Kentucky. Monticello Banking Company. We're not only in Monticello. With 19 locations across Kentucky, your home is our home too. Even after 125 years, our dedication to superior customer service remains. So wherever you call home, stop by Monticello Bank. Member FDIC. At Kroger, you can get personalized coupons on top of weekly sales for prices that are lower than low on food that's fresher than fresh. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Do you mind? Our friend just died, so we're having a little picnic. That's my wife. Yeah, yeah, sorry. TV's new comedy hit, Pivoting, Thursday on Fox. This is Fox 56 News with Paul Jones. Mandy Noel, and weather with Justin Logan. 741 our time this morning, a robot delivery milestone. Rich Jamiro explains in today's TechSmart. Don't be surprised if you pass by an autonomous robot on its way to making a delivery. It looks like a shopping cart with eyes and a personality. Ali Kashani is CEO of Serve Robotics, a startup with investments from Uber, 7-Eleven, and more. We make self-driving delivery robots that will bring you food and supplies. The company recently reached a new milestone, level four autonomy. This means its robots can make deliveries on their own. They need to have enough smarts, enough intelligence to deal with any issue that could come up without relying on people to oversee them remotely. Last year, the company made over 10,000 deliveries in the Hollywood area using the robots, but their movements were constantly being supervised. Now, Serve Robots will be delivering Uber Eats orders mostly on their own. It can deliver food, it can deliver groceries, it can deliver uh, medication, basically anything that's not too bulky would fit in the robot. The robots can still call for human help if necessary, like during pickup and drop off, when they encounter an intersection, or when something unexpected happens. Otherwise, their movements are up to them. It always wants to kind of give rights to people who are passing by and kind of be out of their way. So if it sees someone coming, it would slow down. It would kind of go to the side, make sure that they have, uh, they have room to go. Serve says a majority of delivery demand is in areas robots can handle. Their goal is to take over 5% of human deliveries in the next five years. And that would be equivalent to removing 80,000 vehicles off the road. So that's over a billion miles of uh, car travel that we are trying to eliminate. The benefit of bots, bring down costs and environmental impact. I'm Rich Demuro, and you are Tech Smart. And they have little robots very similar to that on UK's campus as well. I've seen those. Those yeah. are pretty cool. Yeah, we've seen them all with that. Okay, it's time to talk about what day it is. We'll be talking about National Weeks this segment, but stay tuned. At 8.30, we'll discuss the National Days being recognized. Today, though, as far as weeks, today kicks off World Kiwanis Week, Hunt for Happiness Week, and National Healthy Weight Week. Wide variety there. Each year on January 21st, Kiwanis kicks off a week-long anniversary celebration of the service club's first official meeting. Most people have probably heard of Kiwanis Club but don't know a whole lot about its mission. Every year the club hosts service projects, most centered around children. Examples of some of their service projects, building playgrounds, mentoring teens, and sponsoring youth sports. All right, Hunt for Happiness Week encourages us, uh, encourages us to take a closer look at what we define as happiness and what it takes to achieve a satisfying level of personal pleasure in our lives. While it's not possible to be happy 100% of the time, there are those of us who come close, <laughs> much closer than me. Most of the time, <laughs> happiness takes a little effort and an awareness of what true happiness looks like. In 2019, the United Nations published a list of the happiest nations on Earth. In North America, Canada 
made the top 10 list, the United States ranking 19th. Finland came in as the happiest country in the world for the third year running. And I know, Mandy, you spent some time in Finland yeah. not long ago. Yeah, I was there a couple months ago in September. Uh, they are a very happy people. They're so nice. Yeah. So I definitely can see it. I think part of it is that they have so many... It, the country is so und undeveloped, like, there's so much green space. The whole country is full of lakes mm -hmm. and, and ponds. They have an interesting culture, too. Um, saunas. Every household almost has a wow. sauna. So they're just, they're very unique. It's a really cool culture. You know what I noticed about you when you came back? What? You were so much happier. <laughs> <laughs> rubbed off on me. <laughs> All right, Paul, this one's for you. National Healthy Weight Week kicks off during the third week in January. It's to reinforce, actually, this one's for me. To reinforce healthy eating as a way of life instead of dieting to lose weight. It also provides tools to help establish healthy relationships with food, a positive body image, and approaches to improving healthy habits. It takes time, more than a week, certainly, to make a permanent change. Lifelong change depends on our personality, so making a breaking or breaking a habit can take days or months, but this is a good time to start. You know, I've been trying to lose 10 pounds for the last couple months, so maybe this is the week that I'll get kicked off the right way. And you, sir, you had a breakfast of gummy chews, so I did. I did. I'm you know just what? saying. On Mondays, I can get away with it, though, because we have so much nutrition in the Fox 56 <laughs> kitchen, and coming up at 9 o'clock, I'm going to dig in, right? Can't wait. Yes, we are already very excited. Speaking of, we'll be joining Bridgie in the Kitchy to learn how to break down a rotisserie chicken. Mmm. I can already smell it. it. Smells amazing. I went back there and I was like, mmm, can I have some? Look outside this morning. This is I-75 at 64, the southern split in Fayette County. You can still see the snow falling, but for the most part, the main interstate here looks okay. We're looking at some of your viewer pictures and more on the snow after the break. Think for a moment. You don't hesitate to have your eyes tested, but what about your hearing? Hi, I'm Marcia Mattingly. At Belltone, we've helped thousands of people live richer, fuller lives by showing them that they can hear the way they should. If you feel you're not hearing or understanding conversation and others say your TV's too loud, call our friendly staff for a quick and painless hearing test. You might be surprised at what you're missing. 60 years and three generations serve in the tri-state with the most trusted name in hearing aids, Belltone. How's it working out with Benny here at the credit union? Yeah. I'll be right with you, man. My bad. Benny's better at football. We're better at banking. He's working out, in a sense. UK Federal Credit Union. It's banking, only better. So if I buy this today, I get free service for life? Uh, something like that. Congratulations. Hey, what, what is this? Oh, it's uh, standard. It's in the contract. So I get all this for free? Yeah, something like that. I trust you too. You can keep the pen. <laughs> Everything okay? I'm just looking for the string. <laughs> the books are 100% free. No strings attached. All the books an undergraduate will need, all free. I'm Joseph Back with iBuyKY.com, and I want to buy your house. I'll make you an as-is cash offer on your house within 24 hours. Whether it's a total fixer-upper or in perfect condition, iBuyKY.com is the easiest way to sell your house. When you sell your house to iBuyKY.com, there's no fees, no commissions, no banks, and no repairs. Just go to iBuyKY.com for a free, no obligation cash offer 24 hours a day. That's iBuyKY.com. At Affordable Dentures and Implants, that moment when we see a patient smile is everything to us. So whether it's a single tooth, full dentures, or dental implants, we're here to help you. Go ahead and smile. Go ahead and smile. Go ahead and smile. Go ahead and smile. Now, your forecast from Fox 56 News, the weather authority. 
<laughs> hey, good morning, everybody. Time now, 749 on your Monday. Hope your week's off to a good start so far, despite some of the snow, right? Some of you probably obviously don't want to have to deal with that heading out the door, but we are, and it is coming down still. Let's look at radar. A lot of blue right through the bluegrass, down 75 into southern and now moving into eastern Kentucky. Where you see the deeper blues, that's where the snow is coming down with some bigger flakes and coming moderate to heavy. That's coming into places like Centerville, over to Jackstown. You work your way into Paris. You get down into Muir Station, into the northern part of Fayette County. You're looking at snow there, too. You look over to Lexington, Masterson Station, to Versailles, off to the east. The snow picks up into Hamburg, over to Winchester. Farther to the south and southwest, we go for Sales and Midway. Coming down at a good clip for you also. Back down into Harrodsburg here in Mercer County. Boyle County and Danville and Lancaster still coming down. Lawrenceburg, much lighter there, but it's still snowing. It's tapered off, though, for the most part, over toward Franklin and at least the northern part of Scott County. Southbound we go. Mount Vernon, McKee, Irvin, London, Somerset, Liberty, all looking at snow. And it's coming down at a good clip to Manchester and Barberville. Williamsburg down into Middlesbrough and Harlan still looking at snow. Now seeing that snow over into Campton, over into Stanton, Frenchburg here in Menifee County. Uh, West Liberty, not yes yet, but the snow is coming. Now these are radar estimates as to how much snow fell in the last 24 hours. Now radar is not going to be exact, but some of these totals are pretty close to some of the numbers that I've actually seen coming in here. Into parts of Estill County, four and a half to about five inches. Uh, into Jackson County, estimate of 7.1 near McKee, near 6 in London. That's close to what was measured down there. I saw some measurements of 6, 7 inches in Laurel County. You know, this was our 3 to 7 inch zone right through here, right on part, right? We had a 2 to 5 swath right through here, going all the way back to Friday. Pretty close, right? Look at two in uh, parts of Fayette County, near Boyle County, looking at about 2.3 inches. Some viewer photos. I wanted to get to these. Matthew Sexton, I went to high school with him. I went to school with him, actually, not just high school. Nicholas County, about three and a half inches of snow over there. This is from Siren Jones down in Somerset. Isn't this beautiful? This is why, though, that we had some power issues down to the south and southeast. This was a heavy wet snow, unlike the last snow that we had that was more of a powdery snow. This sticks, it weighs down the trees. You get four, five, six inches of snow on trees. That falls over and some of that collects on the power lines too, knocks it down. And then what happens? You lose the power. Some of the roadways though in Lexington, yeah, still ice covered, same or snow covered, same story across most of our coverage area. We're in the 20s right now. We're not going to budge much into the afternoon. The snow showers taper off this morning. Some additional minor accumulations with those snow showers maybe up to an inch in some spots. That tapers off in the afternoon, but tomorrow we'll try to get to 40. We're going to try to get there. All right. On Wednesday, another front comes in, rain over to some snow, and it gets cold to end the week. All right. We're back with more Fox 56 News after the break. This frontier house had a story to tell. Well, I had to start doing some research and started trying to figure out you know exactly what it was that took place here. How he discovered his home's dark past and turned it into historical fiction. Marvin Bartlett, Spirit of the Bluegrass, Wednesday on Fox 56 News at 10. Fox 56, the weather authority is sponsored by Fayette Heating and Air, committed to providing safe, professional, and courteous service to every customer every time. Fayette Heating and Air is your one-stop solution for your HVAC and plumbing needs. This is the insurance guy who's doing everything he can to make sure you get as little as possible for the car wreck that's not your fault, but could cost you your health, your savings, and nearly everything you have. At Becker, we're the ones who make sure he doesn't get away with it. When your life's being torn apart, we can help put it back together. It's P-Rat's great five-day sale. For five days only, you won't pay retail or even our sale price. You'll get up to an additional 10 to 20% off our sale price. Plus up to six years low interest financing with no money down. Lane Blue Leather Sofa, available in four colors, $7.99. A Mana 3.5 cubic foot top load washer, $4.49. Frigidaire 14 cubic foot top mount fridge, $5.79. Through Tuesday. Nobody beats P-Rat's. This can't be right. Trouble with your taxes. I'm April. 
You know, filing your taxes doesn't have to be complicated. With Tax Act, filing is simple. Simple? Simple is nice. And the best part? Getting your max refund to rain down into your pockets. Incoming! <laughs> Switch to Tax Act and start for free. Tax Act. Right now at rallies, get two cheesy bacon cheddar crisps for just four dollars. That's four dollars for twice the beef, twice the cheddar, and twice the bacon. Your wallet and your taste buds called. They want two bacon cheddar crisps for four bucks. Get rallies delivered through our rewards app. The guys have a new neighbor. Our babies will be smart and beautiful. Not to mention imaginary. Next big bang tonight at seven thirty. And welcome back. 7.55 is our time. We are back with the wonderful Bridget Prather Hi. in the kitchen. Um, and we are making just a lot of, you know, you were talking to Paul about rotisserie chicken. Yes. It's the best. It's the best. It is such an easy shortcut. If you buy a rotisserie chicken, you've already taken out the work of buying the chicken, having to unwrap it, season it, cook it. It's all done for you. They're so inexpensive. Yes. And delicious. And yes. they're so flavorful. And everything that, it smells yeah. so good right in here right now. Because you've got... The green yep. onions, oh, it's just wonderful. It's the ginger, I think, that smells the so good. smells good. really good, too. So I am mincing up some ginger. Mandy was just saying she's a huge <laughs> fan of fresh ginger. I think you're going to love this, Mandy. We are making a ginger green onion oil that's going to go over our chicken thighs and drumsticks. And then you just serve that with rice. And then I'll mm. also make these quick sautéed sesame carrots. So that's what you can do on the first night when you bring home your chicken. It's delicious. I love that you've developed so many uses for rotisserie chicken, too. In fact, everybody in the studio has been talking about how we can't wait for the uh, chicken salad. The possibilities it, are truly endless. <laughs> so your ginger is just going to get diced super thin, mince it up. This is um, fresh ginger. You said yeah. that you will skin it as yep. well, peel it. So easy. You can just use a spoon or even a vegetable peeler. And then I've got my green onions in here. If you all were out shopping like I was and you yes. had a hard time finding green onions, you could sub for um, leeks, finely diced leeks. There you go. And so then, do you have leeks in there as well? I do. I have just a little bit. The mild part of the leek is like kind of on the mm -hmm. inside. And so I have a little bit of leek in there. I also have our green onions. Mm -hmm. And then I heated up a neutral flavored oil. You could use vegetable, canola, peanut oil. What else? If you're fancy and you have like avocado, today we're using grapeseed oil. Oh, nice. Um, so I heated it on low over here. Oh. And then I just throw oh. one little scallion in there, one little slice of green onion to make sure it's hot. If it sizzles, you're good to go. Okay. So then, Mandy, just carefully, in a heat-proof bowl, pour this on top of your green onions and ginger. The sound, the, the sound. aroma. The sound and the smell, guys. You're a magician. So then the onion just, mm -hmm. like, coaxes all that flavor out of the ginger and green onion. You're going to hit this really hard with kosher salt. And this is a sauce. We just made a sauce for our chicken that's going to dress it up perfectly. Will you stir that for me? Yes, I will, happily. And then over here is our chicken breast from our rotisserie chicken. So you should get three to four cups. And then I used to work at a very fancy country club in town. <laughs> and they made the best chicken salad. Um, and it was really simple. All it is is some diced up celery. You can use the leaves here. Mm -hmm. So don't ever throw anything away. If you don't want them in the chicken salad, you can use them for their broth. Um, but I like them in the chicken salad. And then more, more. green onions. And then dates, dates for sweetness. Yes. Love it. So I'm going to get to work dicing everything up to make our chicken salad. <gasps> Perfect. Well, we will be back with you in just a little while, and we'll be feeding our bellies in no time. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back. I think we're going to fall, actually. Sure. Because we're changing the way Kentucky treats cancer. Because Kentuckians deserve more healthy years. Because we never stop looking for new breakthroughs. Because we treat every patient like family and every family like part of our team. Because this is where expert cancer care matters most. That's why UK Healthcare's Marquee Cancer Center continues to be nationally ranked by US News Best Hospitals. UK Healthcare, the power of advanced medicine. America. 